It's been a good while since I've been able to fully dig my teeth into the narrative-rich world of the Trails series, so with the release of Trails from Zero coming up, I was happy to receive a code for it, especially since it's in a part of the series I've been wanting to explore. While on Trails of Cold Steel 3 and eventually 4, I was discovering the series for the first time, I also discovered that there were a lot of characters featured from other Trails games, with characters like Lloyd and Teo from the Crossbell arc making appearances that may not have fully been appreciated by fans who haven't played that arc yet, which you could be forgiven for as there was no official way to play it in the West for a long time. That problem will be solved soon as the first part of the Crossbell arc Trails from Zero comes out in remastered form on the 27th, and while there has been a little controversy over which version people should buy as the Switch and PC version have some quality of life features that the PS4 doesn't, since I received the PS4 version of play, I'm pleased to say that I haven't been bothered by not having these things and have been able to once again enjoy Trails for what it is, which is a narrative-rich world that tells its story at its own pace that has every detail helped to create a rich story even in its first few hours. It has me excited to play more as its subtle foreshadowing managed to surprise me in its beginning moments, and with the return of the S-Crafts, its interesting turn-based system, and story that will build on the ones from the games I've already played, I'm happy to say my short time with this remaster has given me hope that I can definitely continue to enjoy the Trails world in this new remaster no matter which version I play. As its own part of the Trails series, Trails from Zero follows protagonist Lloyd, a young police academy graduate returning to his hometown of Crossbell to join the police department after three years away, a city that has grown and changed into one of more financial significance, with public transport and department stores having popped up since his last visit. While he's well qualified, he's placed in an interesting division of the police with some interesting people that aren't exactly what he was expecting. He's put into the special support section, a section that promises to take care of random requests from the citizens of Crossbell, partially to compete with braces who have a reputation of protecting the citizens well while the police department tends to find itself a bit of a laughing stock. With the mayor's daughter, an ex-soldier, and a tech genius as his comrades, this journey will see Lloyd and his friends find out more of what's going on behind the scenes of the city as things go on, with the small moments in between giving the depth that a Trails game should have in this slow but interesting Trails story that is new to the West that promises to show us what the SSS are really about. Much like I felt when I tried Naito no Kiseki earlier this year, Trails from Zero reminded me again why I enjoyed this deep series, with the way small details add meaning to moments that had me excited to play through this story. There were multiple small moments just in the first couple of hours, like Lloyd mentioning an old building in the distance that he was surprised that hadn't been demolished that I thought was just some simple world building that ended up being one of the key buildings in the story that reminded me of why I love this series as it does this in all of its games, including this one. And while it's still early days in my Trails from Zero journey, it has me looking forward to seeing more of these details, especially since I have some connection to each of the main characters thanks to their appearances in Cold Steel. Thanks to that, I have good incentive to want to see their backstories even in this less modern looking trails as someone who usually likes more modern games, and it's the narrative rich world that lets me forgive the downsides of the PS4 version as I'm very much playing for the story and they really don't affect my enjoyment of it. This is probably a good time to talk about the PS4 version that has been a point of controversy recently as it's been confirmed that the PS4 version is faithful to Japan's Kai version of Trails from Zero for PS4 that does have features like being 60 frames per second and better textures than the original PSP version, but not some of the extra nice handcrafted ones for Switch and PC, like better sprites and smoother textures and errors overall, which does make it a lesser version if you're looking for the best one. I heard this after already having received my PS4 code, so initially I was worried I'd find this version disappointing. And while it's obvious to see that the Switch version looks cleaner and closer to maybe a retro-inspired Switch game than one ported from the PSP. I've known about Trails from Zero as a PSP game for a good while, so when I see the imperfect textures and whatnot in the PS4 version, they really don't register as a problem to me, especially since I am mostly focused on the narrative and the stuff I often use like UIs are sharp enough that it's not outside what I'd usually expect from a remaster like this one. It even has the sharp character portraits I'm always impressed with from Trails that hits my visual level of expectation well, and while this will all depend on how you like to play, if you have 
another console to play on, and if it's more important to you whether you have console consistency or the best visuals, I did just want to mention that the PS4 version is certainly playable if you're locked into it for whatever reason. And while I do agree that the situation with the versions was confusing and not the best, the PS4 version is still more than playable if that's what you end up getting. This playability includes Trails' enjoyable battle system that I was happy to return to for the first time in a while, especially since Nayuta had something different. Zero's turn-based system features all the familiar Trails elements, such as S-Crafts, balancing physical attacks and magic ones that use EP, but with one twist that felt exciting as something that made battles feel more meaningful. Since you're in the SSS and helping citizens, the first mission I played saw a couple of kids join the party that couldn't attack and if they died, it meant game over for the party, which actually happened to me a couple of times. It really made me have to think about my tactics for positioning and influencing the enemy to hit my characters instead of them that made for an interesting battle, and I wonder if things like this and the choices made in dialogue will continue to keep things interesting. So far, my overall Trails from Zero experience has been a great way to enjoy this PSP game in a newer form, and reminds me of why I love the narrative-rich world of Trails, and lets me know that the next time I play, I know this world of story and fun turn-based gameplay will add to the already rich and interesting world that I continue to learn about in this universe. If you were worried about the PS4 version of Trails from Zero, I think there's not too much to fear as it's still more than capable of telling the story of this interesting world. No matter which version you play though, so far there seems to be another rich story to discover, full of dialogue choices and turn-based battles with challenges that should make for a meaningful journey for those who play it. There are quality of life things that I would likely appreciate as a story fan, such as the message log that won't be present in the PS4 version, but it's not enough for me to not want to use the version I have and still enjoy it. And so far I am with the slow storytelling of Trails making for a new interesting world to dive into, and I'm excited to do more and see where its details big and small will take us, with the ones I've already seen having payoff along with the return of a battle system I enjoyed in an older but still fun form. It's great to be back in the world and gameplay of Trails again that I'm reminded will continue to excite me as I play thanks to the many details in its story. And no matter what you play it on and how it looks, I hope everyone enjoys the deep narrative that I'm sure this game will bring as we get into the first Trails release of many to come over the next year. Thank you for watching this video, let me know in the comments below if you're going to try Trails from Zero, and if you are, let me know which version you plan to pick up. You can like and share this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more JRPG content like this, and ring that bell to get notifications on whenever I post so you don't miss a thing. You can check out more videos here, and you can find me on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all at JRPG Jungle. Links to those will be in the description below. Thank you to NIS for the code, and until next time, thank you, bye!